All right, I'm back with another quick overview of this Chin's 100 amp hour 12 volt battery. Uh, this is a lithium iron phosphate battery, which uh, I'm fairly new to over the past year. Um, basically, my plan is to try to slowly convert the camper over from just the, the deep cycle lead acid battery over to these deep cycle lithium iron phosphate, primarily uh, due to their longevity. Uh, they're about I don't know, 60, 70% lighter probably than your standard lead acid battery. I mean, it's it's crazy. I, I forget the weight on this particular one, but yeah, it's 60 to 70% lighter. So it's uh, it's pretty awesome. Um, I only bought one of these. I'm gonna convert the camper to a 24 volt system, but I only bought one because I wasn't sure. Uh, obviously everybody wants Battleborn, I get it. Uh, I just can't afford it for, for all the other things I wanna do with the camper. Uh, I got to start somewhere. So I wanted to see if I could save some money and maybe get sort of an off name brand um, based on the other reviews on Amazon and, and some of the forums that I've read. Uh, people seem to like this Chins brand. So start out with this and I uh, charged it up using a lithium iron phosphate uh, charger. Um, topped everything off, uh, hooked up my clamp meter to check voltages, everything looked good. Uh, and then I did a capacity test uh, just used a simple 500 watt inverter here, uh, low power, just to test things out. Uh, ran a bunch of tools, uh, did a constant power uh, consumption test with a 500 watt heater, so the little inverter was maxed out as well. But uh, the capacity test showed 104 amp hours, so uh, actually overrated uh, 104 amp hours at a 100 amp hour battery. So I was really happy with that. Uh, they comes with terminals, uh, nice nice lugs here and everything. Make sure you use a torque wrench to torque these down. What you don't want to do is spin that all the way down and, and perhaps puncture the battery. Uh, that would be bad. Carry strap, easy to lift up. It's just a good battery. Uh, I'm like I said, I'm I've been very happy with it. So uh, if you have any questions let me know I can try to answer it but I'll let you know once I get the 24 volt system up and running and uh, I can show you some tests on that so thanks for watching